For years, residents of the Northeast Bronx have expressed frustration with how difficult it is to get around with few public transit options. The east side of the Bronx is where most of the transportation is needed. That's why in August of 2021, the city's transportation department launched the shared e-scooter pilot program. Now, more than a year later, the DOT says it's been a success. Their latest report includes usage information from the three companies, VO, Bird, and Lime. Combined, they served 86,000 riders for 1 million trips during a 12-month period. It allows most of us New Yorkers to get to work, um, go to the places that we need quickly instead of waiting for a bus that don't come on time. The program has been so popular that the city will be making it permanent and will likely expand. Most of the rides happening on weekdays, with many residents using the e-scooters to get to the closest subway stations. I think that's great. It really reduced my commute around 15, 20 minutes because I don't live too far, but it's a half an hour walk. It, it really makes a huge difference. And also on uh, my return home, I get home late and often there's a very long wait for the bus so you hop on one of these and you get home it makes a huge difference even people that use the e-scooters and are happy to see them stay in the Bronx say they wish the city did more to regulate how they're used and where they're parked the e-scooters are meant to be used in bike lanes and on streets with speed limits no greater than 30 miles per hour but some users ride on sidewalks or go too fast, leaving little time for drivers and pedestrians to see them coming. On Saturday, a man on an e-scooter was killed when he was struck by a car on East 149th Street. E-scooter users are supposed to park them at the free sidewalk bicycle parking racks or bike corrals or at the edge of the sidewalk to not interfere with people walking. Residents say there aren't enough dedicated zones, so people are leaving them anywhere, like next to this fire hydrant near Morris Park Avenue. We need a bit more planning, we need parking, and also I just think more education. She's hoping the program is improved and does expand throughout the borough. I hope uh, the community preserves and takes care of them because some folks knock them down and you know it, it, it affects my life. In the Bronx, Amy Yancey, PIX11 News.